what's up, everybody? You know, I called this one. It's time to eat, baby. And you know why? <laughs> it's time for me to eat. Look at y'all. What I'm doing today is I'm going to make some potatoes. Okay. Now these potatoes have two different things I'm going to do with them. Okay. Today I'm going to take some of these potatoes and I'm going to eat with some lovely salmon. And asparagus. And then tomorrow I'm gonna use some of this salmon and these potatoes to make salmon croquettes. Okay. So let let's let's just get down to business right now because you know I've been waiting all day to, to, to do this just for me and for you. So anyway, let's get down with the salmon here. Let me go and change my camera angle here. Okay, check it out. I got the water already heating up for the potatoes. I just turned it on. And what you want to do is you want to put these potatoes in and you only want to boil them for about, say, 13 minutes because I want a little bit of a crunch to these potatoes. I mean, to, to be fully cooked, but to be able to put a fork through it because when I make the salmon croquettes tomorrow, I'm not trying to use mashed potatoes, okay? And you want to use potatoes because that's what, that's what well, anyway, I won't use potatoes because that's what my mother used to use when she made what we call fish patties, fish balls, and fish sausage, you know. Um, I texted my sister, couple cousins, both my sisters and my cousin yesterday, asked them for mom's old recipe. Uh, she gave it to James Kippy, one of the guys, you know, we associated with. And so I got it. I got my old Simon Croquettes, baby. Hey, look, now I don't know if Croquettes is French or not, but hey, it sounds French, but I don't think salmon come from France, okay? So, you know, it's kind of like an international deal, right? Once again. And over here. Now, what I did is I pulverized me some salt, okay? So I've got what I like to call salt powder, okay? Concentrated form of salt. So I just need, like, just a little bit, baby. Okay, I'm going to put some of that in the potatoes. And I'm going to throw some of my salt powder into the asparagus mixture okay let me show you that to you real quick see salt powder okay salt powder is what i use pulverized salt mixture okay so we're going over here with the asparagus i'm gonna throw about a tablespoon a butter, you know, this is my favorite, the smart balance. Maybe I got a little something in my head, you know, that I like to talk about here. And then for the salmon, two phases here. Of course, I'm going to use a little bit of salt powder. I got, I got to do this by hand because, like I said, it's heavy concentration here. Put a little bit on there. Okay. And then. I'm just going to rub that in on one side. And then I'm, I'm, I was going to go with my basic seasoning blend, but you know what I'm going to do. For what I'm going to eat today, I'm going to use that, okay? Salmon belly here. The other side's going to be for the, the other two are going to be for the croquettes. Okay? So anyway. What we're going to do is we are going to broil this for about three or four minutes on each side. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw the asparagus. Now, now, you can steam the asparagus or you can dump the asparagus, okay? Today, we're just going to dump it. I'm just going to dump it. And I'll explain my process to you here in a second. So, we're dumping that in. Making sure everything is nice and submerged. Water's warming up. Now, one of the reasons I'm doing this this way is because, as far as the potatoes, like I say, I didn't want to start the potatoes off in boiling water, okay? Because what's going to happen is the outside's going to cook, and then the inside is going to kind of like be kind of raw, okay? So I like to do my potatoes. Start it off with cold water. Put the potatoes in at room temperature. And as a potato cooks, the whole thing slowly cooks. Same thing with the asparagus, even though I do have other techniques for asparagus. But once asparagus comes to a boil, I'm just going to let it sit in the water, okay? So that's 
a whole, a whole other thing that we're going to talk about. All right, getting on down with the salmon here. I'm going to throw a little salt on the other side, too. I'm going to go with a little black pepper, too, because I'm, I'm putting black pepper in the croquettes tomorrow. So let me go and throw a little salt powder on here. Concentration, baby. A little bit there. A little bit here. A little bit there. Wash the hands off real quick here. Okay. I'm going to go with the black pepper. And you notice I'm not seasoning the other side of the salmon that I'm going to eat today. Okay. Just a little bit of black pepper. Like I said, these are for the salmon croquettes tomorrow. So that means I'm streaming live tomorrow too. All right. Okay. 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 Here we go. I'll rub these in a little bit. Brawl is already on. Top shell. Okay, we just gonna let that flow, baby. We gonna let that flow. Hey, look, welcome to the Magalena Show, baby. Look, welcome. Thank y'all for coming out and hanging with the brother here. Because, uh, hey, look, my daddy once said one thing. As a matter of fact, my daddy said a lot of things. But the thing I want to talk to you about today is, my daddy said, and it's in the Bible, if a man don't work, he don't eat. You know. And people talk about different ways that you can do this, that, or the other. But the only thing I tell them is, look, try it. Try to end up with no money and see how long it's going to be before you go out and at least try to hustle some money, hustle some food, hustle something, because you're going to get hungry. And that's a driving force for life, baby. But anyway, Magdalene, that's me. Thanks for coming out. That was just my little tip for the day. Kind of want a biblical tip, baby. You know? let, me, let me check something here real quick. Um, yeah, okay, I got that going again. Okay, thanks for coming, man. Mm, I can smell a season in that asparagus already, baby. But look here, th thanks for coming out. Magulator, baby, if you've been around for a while, I am the Magulator. I am in the W gang for life, and I am the one, baby. I am the one, I am the one that's on the one. And what I mean by that is a long time ago, for years and years and years, you know, I, I have... I've been cooking since I was 12 years old, right? And all my recipes that I accumulated, for whatever reason, I kept my recipes to myself. All my recipes were for me, okay? They were all for one person, you know? I was all for one, baby. I was all for one, and every recipe I had was for me and for nobody else. Now, I'll bring some to work. I'll bring some to parties. I'll bring some, you know, and I would share something with my sister Terry, you know, Brother Eric a little bit every now and then with my mom, of course, but, you know, but basically, those recipes were mine. They all, all were for one person, me, and I wasn't giving it up, baby, but as I have gotten older, I have matured, now I've learned to relax a little bit, you know, but now I'm starting to share all, not all my recipes, but the recipes of the one, I'm now starting to share them with all, and that's why I'm doing this, baby. I'm here to share all my quotes, baby. I'm ready I mean, look, I'm the summer you can hear of America, right? And I'm ready to share all my quirks. I mean, I cook Greek food, I cook Italian food, Spanish food, I cook German food, South American food, African food. I'm from Louisiana, you know, Louisiana food. Hey, look, I'm starting to learn to cook a little Russian food, baby. Look, I'm telling you right now, Mexican food, Puerto Rican, Cuban, all kinds of stuff. I'm not just Spanish for Spain with the paella, but I'm talking about the tablecas. And, 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 and all the repairs and everything bad that they're doing over there in the Caribbean and over in Mexico. That ropera, I don't even know how to say it, babe, but I'm going to learn how to cook it. Now, right now, my asparagus is steaming. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that down to a simmer. Okay? Turn that down to a simmer and just let that sit. I'm waiting on the potatoes now. We're just going to let that simmer in that warm, salty, buttery water baby flavor rise you know what i'm saying so anyway i'm letting loose all my quirks baby and i call the different countries that i know how to cook food and that i will learn how to cook food my quirks baby and my quirks are the power force the power force did i tell you about the magliverse baby hey look welcome to the magliverse baby but anyway we'll talk about that a little bit later now the water on the potatoes are starting to boil now all my quirks baby all my quirks are coming from me to you, traversing through my camera, through the internet, to your monitor, or whatever device you're watching me on right now is bringing the Magniverse into your space, baby. So now you are in 
the Magnaverse with the one that's on the one, baby. Now, check this out. It's starting to boil. Wasn't expecting this, but starting to get that little film on the potatoes, you know? So, I'm just going to scrape that off, you know? I'm just going to scrape that film off. Pop that down in the sink, because I'm you know, it, and it, it, it's just a starchy film. I mean, potatoes are starch. They are starch. They are starchy. So you're going to get starch from starchy food. Okay? All right. So anyway, thanks for coming out and hanging with your boy while I get my supper ready. You know, uh, let me take a second real quick here to take a look at that salmon and turn it over because salmon doesn't take too long to cook. And I can smell a lot of that salmon right now. And hey, like I said, tomorrow we're using that salmon for some salmon croquettes. Woo, woo, boy, look at him. Boy, look at him. Mmm, baby, baby, baby. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad I touched it when I did. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let you take a look at that. Can y'all take a look at that salmon, baby? Look at how beautiful that is. Look at how beautiful. Oh, how beautiful. With the salmon of the Magdalena. All right. So I'm going to flip these over real quick. One. Two. Three. Okay. That's going to go in just a little bit longer, baby. Hey, look. Now. Potatoes are boiling. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one potato out. Okay, because they're boiling. Taking just one cube out, drop it down in a bowl, and stick a fork in it. Eh, it can go a little bit more because it was kind of tough, you know. Yeah, it can go some more. But, ma'am, I love the taste. Of a fresh potato. Oh, this is hot. So anyway, asparagus, vegetable. Whoo, boy, that's hot. Hey, you know, you never touch a hot pot, you know. But anyway, I got the little steam coming up. But anyway, full of nutrients, full of vitamins. Hey, look, potatoes, starch, same thing. Everything here, full of nutrients, full of vitamins, you know. And and personally, I'm going. I'm leaning more towards eating. Um, just lamb and fish, you know, they're just better for you. You know, for example, red meat, cholesterol. They say chicken's healthy for you too, but guess what? Chicken is not the best thing to eat sometimes because if you do a lot of reading about your health, when certain things are wrong with you, they say stop eating chicken, okay, and turkey. You know, maybe it's because of all the... Uh, Hormones that they put in them, you know, to make more chicken, you know. So anyway, you want to kind of get away from that. Now I'm going to turn this broiler off. Okay, just turn that off. Because um, it's hot enough in there, and I don't want to overcook the salmon. Remember, these, this salmon is for salmon croquettes tomorrow, okay. And these croquettes is going to be out of sight, y'all. I'm telling you right now. So let me go ahead over here. I'm going to take the camera, baby, and I'm going to put it back on this right here. Continue to talk a little bit. Like I say, asparagus just sitting in there, just steaming up. Potatoes, they're getting down to business. I'm going to go ahead and start preparations for the potatoes because, like I say, I'm going to take some of these potatoes and I'm going to eat them with my asparagus, but then some I'm saving for the salmon croquettes tomorrow. Like I say, I want these potatoes to have a little roughage on them. So, I'm going to check it again. Stick the fork in it. Still a little hard. Still a little hard, but the fork did go through. And, and what I'm going to do with the potatoes for the salmon croquettes is I'm actually going to chop them up a little bit, kind of mince them up a little bit when I mix them in with the salmon and all the other ingredients tomorrow. But, hey, you got to come out with your boy and hang out with him tomorrow to see what he's going to do with the salmon croquettes. Okay? So anyway, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take this on asparagus and I'm just going to turn it off and just let that steam. Now, one thing I wanted to mention about the salmon croquettes, did I leave a piece of asparagus out? I ran into a friend today and we were talking about when you buy asparagus, you know, that long 
you know, asparagus is long and it's thin. But down toward the bottom of the asparagus, away from the top, it's white. You know, it's, it starts to get white, just like a, a, a green onion, a, sh a shallot. And, you know, we talked about how fibrous that was. And she told me, she said, well, before I steam them or cook them, I just kind of bend it, and wherever it breaks off, I just throw, throw that part away. Now, you can throw that away, or you can put that in a juicer, and you can juice that fiber up, baby. Okay, let me, take, let me get that salmon out of that, baby. I know that salmon ready now. Okay, let me get that salmon out of there. I'm not trying to burn my food, baby. Mm, Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha, baby! Oh, it's kind of warm in my hand now, so I got to get it off my hand, y'all. Yeah. Mm. A little warm. It's a little warm now. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We're doing good. We're doing good, baby. We're doing good over here. We're doing good. Doing good. Boy, I'm coming on strong, baby. Things looking up, looking up, looking up. Let me just take this over here. I got this in here. I can take this. Move that out of the way. All right. Let me take this salmon and break a piece off that I'm going to eat tonight. Right, this is the thinness of the salmon, baby. Check that out, y'all. Nice, thin salmon. Nice, crispy the way I want it. Remember, I'm doing this for salmon croquettes. Okay. Another piece. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't want it to go too long. And I'm thinking about maybe anywhere from 13 to 15 minutes on these potatoes. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice right there. That's nice. Okay. What I'm doing next here. Take the potatoes, turn this off. Just taking a towel. Okay, dump all the water off. Now dump them into a little strainer here, or into, into this. Okay, put them back in. Got a couple of fell into my secondary strainer, which I'm gonna use for the asparagus. Okay, I'm gonna put this away from the heat. Okay. Next, I'm gonna strain the asparagus. And we'll make all these dishes again one day. You all can watch everything I do. You know, it's like right now, it's like, it's a mystery. What you doing? Okay, I'm going to take that away from the hem. Then I'm going to bring the asparagus back over here. Let it sit into the pot for a minute. Okay. Now, see, I could have steamed the asparagus in this basket, but I chose not to. Okay, because what I'm going to do next, I'm going to plate this up. Okay, and then I'm going to take a And then we're gonna head on over to the table, y'all. All right, and here we go, baby. All right, let me turn a little something around here for a second. And actually, this is my first time. Um, Multicasting, as you might want to say. Y'all want to check that out there? As if you want some. 
Yeah, I, actually, right now, what I'm doing is I'm streaming on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook Magnolator at all at the same time. So anyway, dear Lord, I thank you for this food that I'm about to receive from that body that I can go forth and do your word. And I thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. First thing I'm going to taste up here, and I'm going to try out the salmon, baby. Mmm, nice and flaky. Mm, mm. Yeah. Mm, hot. It's so good. You know, if you notice in the beginning, I seasoned the top side with my basic seasoning blend, which is onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, oregano, all powdered up. Let me get that for you. Right here. Basic seasoning blend. I use this on a lot of stuff, man. And what I did, remember, put the salt, the pepper. No, it was just the salt, then the basic seasoning blend. On the other side, I did the salt and the pepper. Now, the reason I did that is because put the salmon on, right? With the seasoning on top. But when I flipped it over in the oven, the seasoning went on the bottom. So now the seasoning's on the bottom, right? So when I cut the salmon, and I plate it up, and I eat it, the seasoning is the part that's going to hit my tongue. It's all about the psychology of eating, baby. I'm talking great flavor, good taste. You know, this part of salmon is the belly of the salmon. I've got the thicker part of salmon for my salmon croquettes because I'm making a lot of croquettes tomorrow. Okay, nice, nice. And I love the flavor, the natural flavor of salmon. But when you got that garlic powder, that onion powder, a little salt in there, the pepper, baby, it all comes together. The rosemary, I got sage in here. I got, oh, I got thyme in here, baby. I mean, but I've got a pulverizer that pulverizes everything into a powder. A little bay leaf, just a little bay leaf in there because I'm from Louisiana, you know. Mm, so here we go next. Remember, salt and butter, asparagus. Mm. Mm. You know, just a little tanginess off the salt. But the thing I like about this the most is the natural flavor. You know, I wouldn't put all this on asparagus. I like the see. I like the natural flavor of vegetables. I like the natural flavor of food. So I don't really try to overpower it with anything. I like to keep it nice and keep it simple. Now, some things, like when I do lamb, oh, yeah. I got a lamb seasoning blend that is totally Turkish, totally Arabic, baby. I'm going for the Arabic feel, okay? But but, but, but for right now, simple pleasures, baby. Sometimes, because, you know, p people talk about me, man. Oh, you eat something only rich people eat. It's just, I'm going to spare you some potatoes, baby. Oh, but the way you cook it, Magdalena. Yeah, well, Hey, that's why you got to watch the videos, baby. Come on, check me out, you know? Mmm. 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 Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Mmm. The potatoes. Just the raw, natural flavor of potatoes itself. Just a little bit of salt. I'm not gonna put, you know, some butter in here. You know, I could have took this and mashed it up with some sour cream, um, black pepper, parsley, chives, maybe a little oregano. You know, maybe a little Cajun spice. Even some people use Tony Sachery from Louisiana. Some people in Louisiana, man, they use Tony Sachery in everything. But get away from it. Get away from it. Because Tony Sachery wasn't there when your grandmother was cooking. Or your great grandmother, or your great great grandmother, you know, yeah, they they, they come up with a lot of new things, not new flavor combination that you use, but don't get hooked on them, baby. Stay all natural, baby. I'm talking like you didn't hear me say one thing about all spice or season all or something like this. This is basic season, baby. I'm to all vegetation, and those vegetation give you what? Good health, baby. That's why I'm eating healthy like this, baby. For my health, baby. You know. When I was younger, really, 
me and my best friend, we blaze the trail, living to eat. Living to eat anything and everything we could, man. We were eat, man, everywhere we went to trying different food. Living to eat, 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 eat. Well, now, eat and drink. But now, I eat to live. I eat. I, I eat to put health into my body. You know, that's why, like I said earlier, I don't put too much red meat in my body anymore because cholesterol. Talk to your doctor. Don't, 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 you know, you have to believe everything. I say anything, matter of fact, anything I say, you double check. Because if I'm wrong, hey, tell me I'm wrong. I, I'm not a prideful person. If I'm wrong, you give me information, I'll take that into the collective. I'll double check the research. Pat you on the back for helping me become a smarter me. And then, now that's part of the information that I have, and I stand corrected, baby, with love, with, with love, with, with, because the imagination is love, baby. And that's what this is all about, baby, love for food, love for sharing. Remember, I told you, I'm a spice master of the, of the, of the Magnaverse, baby, but I am also the Soma Yuka hero of America. I'm bringing the spices to you, baby. I'm bringing it all to you, baby. Trust me. Hit that follow button. If you're on YouTube or Twitch right now, I'm, I'm, I'm tri you know, triple casting. Um, you know, I I, I was uh, you give, give myself a little joke about just about everything. You know, the guy Roto on One Piece, he's a three swordsman. You know, he goes with three swords. Well, today I'm trying to do my three sword trick on try casting on three different networks, baby, going in through OBS to real stream out to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. So, hey, I'm a three swordsman today, baby. But I don't have three knives out here, so I guess I'm just kind of winging it, you know? Mm, mm. Natural flavor of asparagus is just fantastic. It's fantastic. I mean, I, I'm, I could eat that whole pot right now. You know, me and one of the guys today, you know, we're, we're talking about food. You know, we're talking about health. Um, and asparagus is one of the things that is good for cancer. Go ahead and, and look it up. Look it up, asparagus. As a matter of fact, I got sage in here too. Um, just do cancer and sage. And sage has got a an ingredient in it that's, Fight cell metastasism of cells. You know, you know what I mean. I, we were researching to live, baby. We re omega three fatty acids in the in the. the salmon. Let me tell you something. Good. <laughs> so good. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. The one, baby. Oh, the one, baby. Oh man, sometimes you gotta give yourself a pat on the back, baby. Woo! And give yourself a ham. I'll tell you, this is so delightfully tasty. Just the right amount of salt. Just the, just the right amount of salt, baby. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Mm. Now, I know you all noticed one thing. Riscato. My wife is out of town waiting for her to come back. Now remember, don't remember the size of the um the red covering up here. There, there's a different shaped bottle, same red stuff for Riscato, but the red covering comes down here and the bottle's a little bit wider. Don't get that one. Oh my gosh, I made a mistake at that one one time. Garbage, toilet water. For me anyway. I just didn't like it. And of course, my wife, she just got um, into the Stella Rolls. Stella Rolls, man, they, they taste like fruit. They taste like fruit. They taste really, really good. I mean, I'm not into, you know, fruity wines like that and stuff. But if if, if you want something that tastes really good, go and get Stella Rolls. They got like a blackberry and a blueberry. I mean, I'm tasting them. You know, they taste really good. But, you know, the fruity stuff is not for me. So, I mean, hey, look. I'm not getting paid by Stella Rose. I'm just saying what I like. And this is a good one, too. I've, I've been with me and my wife have drank this many a time. 
It's the same when they serve at Olive Garden. That, that's how we found out about it, you know. Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes, sir. Nice. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is so good. Like I said, a natural flavor of asparagus with just a little bit of salt and pepper. I mean, salt and the the smart balance margarine. Mm. Mm. Don't don't smother don't smother the asparagus with too much of anything if you like the natural flavor of vegetables, baby. You know, I know why I was keeping all my recipes to myself at one time. Because you got to work to get the flavors like this, baby. I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff I cook. All kind of countries, all over the world. And, but now it's like, who wants raw? I mean, I'm coming at you. I got, look, look, guys, ladies and gentlemen. I'm coming at you plus ultra 100% with all my quirks. Hit the follow button. Hit the subscribe button. And, 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 and just hang with your boy, okay? Hang with the Magnator, baby, because I'm coming to you all the way live from the Magniverse, baby. And I'm giving all my quirks out, baby. Like I say, you got a couple of recipes like gumbo, family gumbo recipe. I can't give that to you, but I can find a good one for you. That's very similar. You know, I just say, hey, go to this website and get it, or I'll post it on my Twitter page or something. You know, you know hey, plus ultra, you know. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. You know, asparagus is actually creamy. It's actually creamy. So good. I just got three pieces left. No. Thirty more pieces over there. Mm. Mm. So good. Now I'm looking at my laptop and I'm noticing that the chat well, you know. When I was dealing with OBS, reading about it, the chat from all sources are supposed to comments are supposed to kick in. I see it doing a little circle thing, just waiting, waiting, waiting. So I got to work on that. Plus, I might have to get a bigger screen so if once it does get to working, I can see what people are saying. You know, hey, I definitely want to respond to you guys, talk to you. You know, somebody could be watching on Twitch right now, and I can't, you know, I can't even see somebody talking to me. I might have a first time viewer. You know, thanks for coming out and hanging with the brother. You know. So anyway, like I said, I'm working on it. But anyway, next year in 2024 is when I'm going to retire. So for the next year or so, until about maybe May, June next year, I'm going to be experimenting using these software applications, cameras, pre presentation, everything to make sure that once I retire from my second career, the streaming Real estate and a few other things are going to be my third career. And we're going to talk about real estate. We're going to talk about finance. We're going to talk about businesses. We're going to talk about everything. I'm, look, to tell all your friends, look, I'm 62 years, 61 years old. I'll be 62 when I retire. Tell all your friends to get ready because Super Bowl weekend, Super Bowl week, okay, I'm going to reveal my secret identity so you can know who I am. Okay, hey, you're going to be surprised, baby. You're going to be surprised. But tell all your friends, the Magnator is going to have a, a brand interest. Super Bowl week, February 2024. I'm going to let y'all know who my, what my secret identity is, baby. And you're going to love it. You're going to love it. So anyway, yeah, Super Bowl week. 
I'm be, I'll be in Vegas, and I'll be picking it up a lot. Remember, the basic seasoning with salt, and there's no salt in here. The basics, because, you know, you don't want to put too much salt on something. Oh, it's all over my tongue. Mm, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. You know, when you're the king of your own castle, when you're the king of your own castle, there's one thing that's for sure. It's good to be the king. Me enjoy the fruits of my labor. Now, I did want that asparagus before I cooked it. Rinse the salmon off. Wash the potatoes after I cut them up. You know, cleansiness. So, anyway, I'm about to go for this last piece of salmon. Oh my goodness. My goodness. You know, I bought some more salmon. You know, I took it off the skin, cut it up, put it out in the freezer in the garage. I have more salmon. So if I eat all that, I still have, I, I just made salmon for because fresh the batch of salmon tomorrow. But anyway, thanks for coming out, hanging with the Magnator, bringing the Magniverse into your space, baby. So now the Magniverse is always with you, baby. And the Magnator is always with you. Come back, you know, and like I said, in 2024, I really get the streaming career going. We're going to be giving recipes. And look, I'm not like a person who's only going to cook food from Greece, only going to cook food from Jamaica, only going to cook food from France. I don't want to cook food from Germany. Hey, look, go look at the Magnator One Instagram page. Go check that out. Go check that out and see what I'm talking about, baby. It's not just one country. I'm, I'm worldwide, international, baby. I work for a global enterprise called the United States military. Now, when I, I did 20 years in the, in, in the military, now I work for the Department of Defense, baby. And I travels, baby. And when I go to other countries, baby, I, I'm checking out the quirks. And I'm tasting that food. And look, and I'm going to say, look, um... But you know, I'll talk to somebody and say, "This is really good, man." Oh, but the chef won't give the recipe. Well, what about your the, the chef won't give me the, the recipe? Well, what about your grandmother? I, I'll buy everything and just come on over to your grandmother's house tomorrow, man. You know, I I do it, I do it. Down in Colombia, man, I don't even know what this old lady's saying, but guess what? That arroz chapa de mariscos, man. Oh, come on now. Look at that rice dish on my page with the mussels in it. Okay, that's arroz chapa de mariscos. South American dish, man. Artinium, Peruvian dish, but I ate it in Colombia. Man, fantastic. I just shared that with four women that I work with. I bought it for one young, young lady, but she was off TDY. Can't tell you where she went. Out of state. We're in Florida. She was at a, at a state bordering Alaska, okay? Minnesota, okay? I told you. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. She was up there. I bought it in. And I said, well, and I text her, you know, on our um, Microsoft Teams. And she texts me back, blah, blah, blah. Hey, I'm here. I said, oh, I forgot you're going to Minneapolis. So anyway, I shared it with Jenny and Jessica and Sally and Melody. They all loved it. But I got you. I got you. Don't worry about that. But anyway, thank you all for coming out. Hanging with the brother. Remember, hit the follow button and tell everybody, baby. Tell everybody. Magniverse is here, baby. Magniverse is here, and we just getting started, baby. I'm just clowning around right now until 2024 when I reveal my true identity, and then that's in February. Then June of 2024, the summer, maybe July. But I tell you what, that's when I'm hitting it hard, baby. I'm hitting, I, I, I might hit it hard before then. I don't know, but stay tuned. Stand by.
I'm the Magnavator. Love you. Peace out, baby. I got you. Go!